This study uh, is a study of uh, patients that have developed prostate cancer. And what we did study was their DNA and the DNA of their tumors. And we specifically looked for genetic defects of uh, a gene called phosphodiesterase 11A, or PD11A. Uh, and we sequenced the gene in the DNA of the patients derived from their uh, blood samples and the DNA from the tumors derived from their tumor samples. And we compared the frequency of genetic alterations in that gene uh, in these patients and their tumors with the DNA from uh, controls. The uh, study was conducted here at the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development in, the, uh, in an intramural laboratory. But the samples were collected in Brazil. Uh, Dr. Fabio Fauz, a postdoctoral fellow from uh, Brazil, was uh, doing research in our laboratory here at the NICHD and had uh, collected the samples from these patients himself and from a group of investigators uh, in Brazil. What we found out was that uh, the patients had in their blood DNA and of course as a consequence in their tumor DNA a higher frequency of genetic alterations in phosphodiesterase 11A when compared to normal controls. So for men with prostate cancer, approximately 30% were carriers of one or the other of these eight variations, whereas uh, these variations were only found uh, in about 10% of the normal controls. The activity of the enzyme appears to be decreased when these genetic alterations are present. Uh, and when, when this is happening, there appears to be an increased risk for developing these tumors. Uh, now, the increased risk, of course, is indirectly uh, derived from our data because we don't show in any way that when we actually decrease the activity of the enzyme, we get a cell becoming cancerous. We're not showing that. We're not saying that. What we are saying is that when you have this genetic alteration, the activity of the enzyme is decreased, partially decreased, not completely inactivated, partially decreased. And when you have that, and you have that in your endocrine cells, there appears to be an increased frequency of tumors. So there are uh, there are no known medications that are specifically targeting phosphodiesterase 11A. But phosphodiesterase 11A is a member of a large family of uh, enzymes that are called phosphodiesterases, and some of them are targets of medications that have been used uh, for many years in medicine for heart disease, for lung disease, and most recently for uh, uh, erectile dysfunction. Some of these medications that are targeting members of the phosphodiesterase family for treating heart disease, lung disease, or erectile dysfunction do, in fact, inhibit phosphodiesterase 11A at the doses that they are administered for the treatment of these other disorders. So the inhibition of phosphodiesterase 11A in the context of the use of these medications is uh, a side effect, in essence. Uh, but of course, uh, we do know today that uh, at the doses that these medications are being used, there is inhibition of the enzyme. The takeaway message for the general public is that uh, phosphodiesterase 11A is yet another enzyme that has sufficiently large genetic variability to uh, allow for certain things, certain diseases, certain pathologies to be associated more frequently with one versus the other form of the enzyme. And that lots of studies need to be done 
to try to tackle those, get the answers to this, associations, and of course use them for, in, a, in a way that will be beneficial to our patients and to perhaps treating the diseases that are associated with uh, this particular glands and, and, and enzyme. Another take home message here is that phosphodiesterase 11A may be one of the hundreds or even thousands of genes that will be used in the future to determine each one of us profile for the risk of certain diseases. In this particular case, obviously, I, it could be the profile for the risk for prostate cancer. Uh, but we have already talked about PD-11A in adrenal tumors and PD-11A in testicular tumors, so it could be used in the uh, testing for the profile for, for a number of tumors. Uh, and it's, as, I, as I said, it's, it's, an, it's just one of hundreds of other genes, maybe thousands of genes, uh, that will be studied in the future for what we call individualized medicine.